right guys welcome back welcome to my channel if you're new welcome so today we're gonna fish the river uh, we came in last night did a uh, little bit of night fishing we only caught one we got a bunch of bites but we weren't even paying attention we we're just talking away um, so we camped out set up our camp our tent so today we're just gonna hit the river uh, we're gonna make some breakfast and then see what we got for today so for today we're gonna be doing a, a fly rod and a spin rod kind of challenge so I'm gonna fish for about 15 minutes on the um, on each of them on a spin rod and a fly rod and see which one does good um, <clears throat> one of my subscriber wanted to wanted me to do a spin rod with flies because I told him it's possible I said hey um, so I'm gonna show you guys my setup for my spin rod and flies are using flies for my with my spin rod <laughs> so I'll, I'll go over that but right now we're just gonna uh, make breakfast and we'll get on the river so stay tuned guys okay guys so this is my spin rod setup for fly using flies <clears throat> so my bottom fly I put a lightning bug uh, has a bead on there I think this one's a 3.0 or a 3 millimeter um, and then I got this tiny little black midge as my dropper it's a size 24 so <clears throat> Let me go over. So instead of using a regular indicator, because um, spin rods, they're not as, you can't cast them as far as a fly rod with the light line. So it's very um, good to use a ultra light rod. So you throw some tiny flies, something not so heavy. But uh, my favorite, um, bobber to use as an indicator are these bobbers with the a lead weight but if you if you're using uh heavy flies and some other stuff you could use these so they just slip over the line you put this in there so take this out you slip this over the line put it in and it cinches down on the line so if you're using heavy flies you can use that um, right now I'm just using these small flies and you can put a split shot <clears throat> but I'm using these flies with the bead head so I should be good and this is my favorite one to go with this one if you don't have these ones you can use these ones also has the lead weight on there so that's what I'm gonna be doing or using so this one is just set it up like a regular uh, fly rod I'm gonna go up about 18 inches from my first fly so we'll put that down here so this lead weight kind of helps you cast it and that's what's good about the ultralight rods is they can cast light bait light um spinners and stuff like that so that's why i like using the the, the ultra light rods so that's what i have i have uh my 24 size 24 midge i got a size, I think it was an 18. No, 16. A size 16 lightning bug. Both have beads, so they're both bead heads. And then about 18 inches up or so, close to 18 inches, I got my my bobber with the lead weight to help me cast it. So, we'll see how we do. I'm going to do my fly rod and my spin rod and see which one catches the most fish. And to show you that you can use your spin rod as a fly rod if you guys want. 
So stay tuned guys. Alright guys, so we're here at the river. So I'm gonna do 15 minutes with my fly rod. We're gonna do it for a couple of hours maybe. We're gonna set my phone for 15 minutes. So every 15 minutes, I'll switch it out. I'll do 15 minutes my fly rod and 15 minutes my spin rod. And we'll see which one does. Yeah, okay. So stay tuned, guys. I hope we catch some good ones here. I haven't been to the river, I haven't fished this year. So I caught a fish last night when we were just messing around. So we did some night fishing and I caught one. Okay, so I'm gonna start it now. Ready? Okay, ready. Take my fly out. Ready? Begin. So we'll start off with the fly rod. <laughs> I realize over here saying figure eight, figure eight. All right, so we'll see what we can get on this one. There's some people here, but they're not fishing. They're just in their truck. So we'll see if we can get 15 minutes on the fly rod. And then 15 minutes spin rod. We'll see which one does better. So, um, like I said, I had a, a weighted bobber on my spin rod. Um, it goes down to size 16. Um, fly a lightning bug with a three millimeter bead at least 3.5 and the bottom fly is a black midge with a two millimeter bead size 24 I believe or it's a 1.5 millimeter and I got the same thing on here, but the bottom fly, instead of a lightning bug, because I didn't have another lightning bug, I lost it, which is pretty good. Um, I have a CDC, kind of pheasant tail looking fly. So, we'll see what we get here. 15 minutes, and in 15 minutes with the fly rod. Okay, so in the winter, when the water's a little bit colder, um, trout tend to stay close to the bottom, um, not near fast waters. They don't like to be in the fast water because they're kind of slugg sluggish. So right here's a perfect spot. And we'll see what we get. So trout like to, in the winter, like to stay close to the bottom, less active. They just wait for food to come to them. But they like to stay close to the current, to where the food comes to them. And that's what we're targeting. So that's what we're gonna do. I got my fly rod hooked up to my, my rod holder. See we can get on. After 15 minutes, we'll switch it over to the fly rod. I mean, spin rod. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we got about three minutes on this fly rod, but uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, both setups are pretty much the same. So I'm trying to make it fair for both sides. Um, they're about. I would say five feet from the indicator and the bobber on the spin run. So, and then from the first fly to my indicator and then the spin rod for the bobber is about 18 inches. It's a little bit more, I think it's about 20, 20 inches, 24. 
So they're hitting about the same depth. Right where I'm standing is about three feet of water. But it gets deeper where to, where I'm casting. So each setup is about <clears throat> equal with distance and flies. Um, on my spin rod, I'm using a a floral carbon tippet, a 6x on top fly and 6x on the bottom fly. And the line on that one is a floral carbon six pound line. But a uh, ideal setup for a spin rod would be like a, um, a braided line. Cast is easier, smoother. But uh, I didn't want to change out my line on my spin rod. Um, the 6X fluorocarbon is just, it's just as smooth. So that's, I just wanted to update you guys on that and let you guys know that I'm trying to make it equal for both fly rod and spin rod. There's no advantage for either of them except for the casting. Fly rod is a lot easier to cast. Light flies, light line. So. Okay guys, so spin rod time. So like I said, my setup for this one is just about the same as the other one, as my fly rod. So my bottom fly is the lightning bug with the bead and then I got a black midge on my top fly and then 18 inches to my indicator up here okay so we'll see what we can get on this one for 15 minutes let's get the timer out and let's start it Stay tuned. Hopefully you catch up. So the only thing with the spin rod is you're going to have to reel it in to cast it. Open up the bevel, cast it like your regular casting. Close the bevel, reel it in a little bit Keep the, so you're keeping the line tight to fit the hook. But make sure it's not too tight to where you're pulling the bobber. <clears throat> and just watch it. Okay, so... Right now the water is pretty cold, and when it passes by you, then if you notice that your line is getting tight, open up your bevel on your reel, let it go through, and just hold it there until as far as you want it to go, close the bevel, and watch your bobber. So we'll see what else we can, or so we'll see what we can get on. And then just let it sit for a bit. You can jig it if you want. And again, if you want to cast it, recast it, just reel it in. Reel it in. And cast it like you're casting. Regular casting with the spin rod. Let it bevel down. There we go. Just like that, guys. It's simple. Alright, guys. Time to switch on over. It's cold. <clears throat> Windy. Breezy. So. Fish aren't cooperating today. <laughs> but, uh, we'll keep fishing this pocket and then we'll move up a little bit later on see what else we can get on up upstream so see what we can get on all right guys so <sighs> no bites yet but uh I'm just get out of water. It's cold. 
So we're gonna fish here for a bit. Then we'll probably move up. Uh, water is super cold. The flow was like 375 the last time I checked. It was yesterday. It's pretty low. It's cold, murky. So that's why I might have to change out that little midge. Put a little bigger fly on there for the murky. Uh, the water's kind of murky. So. I'll probably do that, change out the flies, and fish a little bit here. It's pretty cold. <laughs> Trying to get out the water for a bit, warm up. So stay tuned, guys. Okay, so right here, my microphone wasn't turned on. I'm using the Rode Wireless Go microphone. Uh, the transmitter was on, but the other one wasn't, and I didn't catch that. I pushed it, but I guess I didn't hold it long enough. So we moved spots. We moved up river. Uh, I was just saying that we didn't catch anything at the last spot. It was pretty cold. Uh, so we moved here, and we were. I'm just saying that we'll see what we can get here, see if we can get on anything. So I was just saying that I'm going to start off with the fly rod again, and... We're going to go 15, 15 minutes and then 15 minutes on the spin rod. So, but eventually I just stick with the spin rod. Just, to, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> so that's what we're talking about here. So here I was just setting the 15 minutes timer or the 15 minute timer on my phone. And right here, it was nice, real deep pocket. And right here, you guys will see that I catch, get a bite. My first cast, I throw it out right here. So I just set the timer, just put it in my pocket. Right here, so right here I got a bite. It's a pretty good size. So that was like the first fish of the day with the spin rod. <laughs> and then I dropped my GoPro in the water right there. <laughs> Got a little excited. So it's a pretty good fish. It was the first one of the day. And that was the first cast at the new spot that we just went to. And that was the uh, Harris ear with the CDC collar. They call it Walt's fly, kind of looking fly. And had a orange or pink fluorescent thread collar right behind the bead. So I switched over to spin rod. And here on the spin rod, I think it was the first cast, or no, a couple, I think three casts, two casts into it, and then I get another bite. So when you cast the spin rod, you kind of have to keep the line tight. So if the bottle goes down, you have tension already on the string or the line. Set the hook. And then when you cast, you just reel it in and then just cast it like your regular casting a spin rod. So that's what I was talking about right here. So I just reel it in and just cast it. Cast is pretty good. I was really surprised at how good this uh, 
ultralight rod cast. So once I threw it, I just kept the line tight. Not super tight, but just tight enough to where I could set the hook when I pull it up. And right there. A land one or dare see. Got a good bite. And I believe this one took the lightning bug. The lightning bug fly. It says size 16. It was a pretty good size. And then I believe I asked my brother if he wanted to keep this one because he was taking some home for my grandma. My grandma likes to eat fish, so. I was asking if he wanted to keep this one. So yeah, right there's the lightning bug. It's kind of green. It has a green body and a Right there, my brother caught one. So it had a green body and a peacock um, torso. So right here, he caught one. I was trying to tell him, don't make it tight, you know? <laughs> I was trying to tell him, let it bite, but I guess he just clinched down on the line and snapped off. <laughs> it was a good size one, too. That was his first fish of the day. So I had to re-line his rod. And he's over there hooking up the fish. I think he starts to use a spin rod right there while I was relining his. So I stick with the spin rod on this one for the rest of the day. It was pretty good. It's pretty fun. And we got another one right there. Or no, no, it's not right there. But <clears throat> I was just saying right here, you just keep casting. Keep the line tight. You can see the bobber on the tip of the rod right there, the right side. And then just reel it in again and cast it out. So all I have on this one is just that weighted bobber. Then drop down maybe 18 inches to my first fly and then another 12 to 18 inches to my last fly, my bottom fly. So I was really surprised how good this cast with the weighted bobber. So if you guys ever want to get into fly fishing and just have a spin rod, just give this a try. Just have a weighted bobber, use some floral line. You gotta have that floral line still. So on this one is to give a it was the, the rod was lined up with um, six pound floral line, and then I was using uh, let's see what was it five uh, x five x tippet from my six pound floral line to my first fly, and then from my first fly to my second fly was a six x. So it just catches pretty good. You can get far with this if you're using that ultralight. Uh, medium and all that, it's kind of stiff to throw it light, a light uh, setup like this. So right here, yeah, right here, hooked up on another one. I was fighting. <laughs> it was fun though, just fighting them on this ultralight reel. I rod.
So yeah, this is pretty good on it there too. Eventually, I, I lose that um, lighting bug fly. So I'm definitely going to have to tie me some more of those when I get a chance before I head out to the river again. And right here, I had a, I was putting on my bag, my pack, <laughs> and I didn't know that it got snagged on my rod and I heard a snap. I took off my bag and I snapped my rod. So that was it for that. I was pretty bummed out because there was still a lot of daylight left. And I was just killing it with that spin rod and flies. So it's kind of bummed out. It's pretty fun to catch fish on that since that rod's pretty sensitive. So I just went back to this fly rod, but I ended up falling in the water on the couple minutes down the road <laughs> right here I was telling it. I fell in the water I was trying to get on the rock and the water was deeper than I thought I stepped and I just slid in <laughs> it was super cold so I just got up and then called it a day found my brother and told him that I was gonna go back to the truck and change and he was still fishing but I was just saying right here, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Don't forget, keep hunting, keep fishing, keep it outdoors.